What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, LOL Miner just added support for Graham. And, to top it off, if you've got a bunch of AMD cards, now you can put them to work on Graham. But before we get into this content, do me a favor, hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. So as of February 11th, LOL Miner announced in their Discord that due to popular demand, the Ton mining algorithm is back. In this case, we're using it for Graham. There's a couple of important things to be aware of. Number one, we don't have support for all of the different pools out there. Number two, the old dual Ton mining capability is not supported. So in other words, I don't think you can dual mine this. I haven't tried it yet, but just something to be aware of that may not be possible. But I'm very excited. I can actually put my AMD GPUs to work on this. It is still the most profitable thing to mine. Not by much, but let me just show you a comparison here. So I've taken the liberty of adding the cards that I currently have mining it into hashrate.no's calculator. It looks like what's giving the most revenue right now is NIR at about $28.82. But look at the power usage here 5634 watts and that's going to give me a profit of roughly about fifteen dollars and thirty cents a day now if you compare that to even something like nexa which is pretty power hungry but not quite that bad it's only using four thousand one hundred and twenty six watts and if you look at something like alephium or nexelia uh, we're at about three thousand watts so this using the SHA-256 algorithm, you can see my power consumption here for the whole farm is 2,768. This is in software. Keep in mind, this does include a couple of rigs that are not currently mining that. So we should actually subtract about 200 watts. I'm using about 2,500 watts or so in software. If you add another 10% to that because most of it's NVIDIA, then maybe we're right back to this you know, 2,750 range. So as far as setting this up, uh, before Hive OS updated, I had to add it as a custom miner. But Hive OS is updated now, so let me go ahead and show you Alderaan, which is currently using the proper flight sheet. So what you're going to do is you're going to select Gram as your coin. You're going to select your wallet for pool. You're going to configure in miner. Then you're going to select LOL miner instead of custom miner. And here you can see the algorithm I'm using is Ton. The pool server is lolminer.ton.ninja, port 9999. And it is important, I believe, that you enable this command, dash dash ton dash mode 6. And there you can see my overclocks. Now, if you've got different GPUs in this rig, let's say, for example, you got some 20 series mixed in with some 30 series, or you've got some 40 series in with some 30 series uh, if you need to edit each one of these you just put a comma and let's say for instance if i was going to mine on like a 4070 we'd go 2400 and let's say for instance if the next card was another 3070 uh, maybe i go 1550 anyways you just put your commas in there and after you're done make sure you hit enter and you don't have any spaces after this very important but most of you guys know how to set up your overclocks in your flight sheet, but just in case. So now that you see what that looks like, let's compare that to the custom miner version. So if you haven't updated to the latest version of Hive here, then you would have to run the custom miner. And in that case, what you would do is select custom miner, and then you would point it to the installation URL. Everything else is pretty much identical from that point on. So I highly recommend updating to the latest version of Hive. But, you know, if you just want to set it up quick and dirty, you can always use the custom miner. Now let's take a look at some hash rates here. So Alderaan is 63070 TIs. As you can see, they're all sitting at 2.486 gigahash using roughly 80 to 90 watts in software. And if we take a look at a few others here, let's take, for example, Naboo. So we've got some 3070s sitting at 2.318 using between 70 and 80 watts or so. 3060 Ti sitting at 1.91 giga hash at 72 watts in software. And if you want to take a look at some AMD, I've got some 6600s sitting on it right now. We're sitting at 1.354 giga hash using roughly between 30 and 40 watts in software. 
Now, as far as 40 series cards are concerned, I've got a 4070 in this rig. It's getting 3.425 giga hash at 88 watts in software. You can see I've got a 3080 Ti doing very well at 4.137 giga hash at 149 watts. We've got another 3060 Ti in here. 3080 sitting at 3.517 giga hash at 115 watts. And I believe I have a 3090 for you guys to see as well. Yeah, so the 3090 sitting at 3.860 at 124 watts. Overclocks on this one are a little bit different than that 3080 Ti that you just saw a moment ago. But here's two of them side by side. Uh, you can see 3.766 giga hash at 125 watts. So the 3090 is going to perform a little bit better. And if I'm not mistaken, let's take a look at this flight sheet here. We can see that because I have some 20 series GPUs in here, uh, I've got the first card sitting at 1500 on the core clock locked and 1470 on the 2070 supers and 90 for the core here. So big difference in the overclocks from the other 30 series GPUs. Now, Gram itself is currently sitting at 0.005 cents, and I think there's a good chance we're going to revisit this 0.004445 area again. Maybe we'll find support and continue up, but who knows? I do not have a crystal ball. Also, something to be aware of, there is not much time left to take advantage of the small givers. So this is a, a contract address, basically, that is distributing all of the gram from these pools once these have expired then they're going to go to the extra small pool so you can expect rewards to drop significantly after that now if we take a look at what i'm currently getting you can see right now over a 15 minute period we're only averaging 63 gram and we're averaging about 165 shares every 15 minutes now, this is very hard to gauge to determine profitability because you're taking 15-minute snapshots at a time. Uh, these pools really need to get their stuff together and give us some decent charts and a little bit more history so that we can gauge whether or not one pool is better than another. I see a lot of people struggling trying to figure out which one is best. Now, I did notice somebody dropped this in our Discord uh, stating that the Gram Mining Pool is actually going to give some incentives to stay on their pool. So if you hold up to 25,000 gram on the pool, they're going to reduce your fee to 45%. A lot of people were speculating that there was zero fees on gram pool. However, this does confirm it is in fact 50%, just like Ton Ninja. But if you hold up to 50,000 gram, they're gonna reduce that fee down to 43%, 100, thousand gram is going to reduce it to 40 percent and if you hold up to 250 thousand gram it's going to be the lowest rate at 37 percent now based on what lol miner is saying here the miner is compatible with all pools that add the old ice mining style stratum or one of the old http dialects so it may be possible for lol to implement this but they don't even have a tcp stratum so I think that needs to be addressed and we may see some additional pools come online and be compatible with LOL Miner, which would be great because looking at your stats this way really isn't going to give you a clear picture as to what to expect from profitability. However, I've been watching it for about the last 72 hours and I can tell you my farm typically fluctuates between 45 gram and 85 gram every 15 minutes. So let's take an average of that. Let's say 45 plus 85 divided by two, we're averaging about 65 gram per 15 minutes. If we multiply that by four, then we're getting 260 gram per hour. If we multiply that by 24 hours in a day, we're getting 6,240 gram every day. And if we multiply that by the current price of ton right now, which is half a cent, then we're looking at $31.20 a day in revenue. Now, this is a little bit better than the top dog, and usually with these cards, I'm, I'm typically highest revenue sitting at around $22 to $23 a day, uh, and maybe $10 a day in profit if I'm lucky based on 10 cents per kilowatt hour. However, I'm not using 5,600 watts 
I am only using roughly about 2700 watts so you can see that profitability is substantially higher on gram right now but it is important to keep in mind you do not have much time to mine this so hopefully you see this video sometime in the near future and you get on it but that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed the content do me a favor before you go hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one almost forgot to show you guys my 4090 hash rate sitting at 9.9 .9 giga hash i'm currently running a screen recorder, Photoshop, and several other things, but uh, yeah, the 4090 hash rate is outstanding. Overclocks, by the way, are locked core at 2550, core offset at 310, and memory locked at 810.